Hi, I'm Charles O'Brien. I'm the director of the transgenic facility here at UAMS, and this is the co-director, Joe Gellner. And what we do is make transgenic mice. Uh, most of you, or many of you, are probably familiar with different kinds of genetically modified mice. There are gene-targeted mice and transgenic mice. And the core makes only the gene, uh, the transgenic mice. We don't produce gene-targeted mice. We can certainly help you design gene-targeted mice and work with other facilities to do that, um, but we don't create gene-targeted mice here. But if you're interested in making transgenic mice via pro-nuclear injection of DNA, that's what we do, and we can help you in several different ways. So one question that people ask frequently about uh, transgenic mice is how much does it cost? The fee for the service here at UAMS is about $3,200, and for that you get uh, a guarantee of at least two uh, transgenic founder mice that you can use to expand your, your colony. What we typically do is generate, a, a, our average is about four different transgenic founders per construct. So even though we only guarantee two, we can be as many as four, sometimes eight per construct. And so uh, Joe Gellner can tell you a little bit more about the types of strains that we can generate those mice in. The strains we do the pronuclear injections in are C57 BL6s or hybrids, and currently we're using C B6 F1 hybrids. Uh, the timeline from the time we start injecting the DNA uh, is basically three weeks for gestation, then three more weeks for weaning, and then we pass on uh, tail biopsies for DNA analysis. In addition, we offer cryopreservation of sperm to protect your lines, or if in the case of not needing the line to continue for a while, you might want to take it down to save some money. And then we offer in vitro fertilization to bring back those lines or to bring lines that have been cryopreserved from other facilities. We also offer re-derivation of lines to clean lines up that are either being transferred here from another facility or being transferred among facilities on campus. Okay, so lastly, uh, who can use the facility? It's open to anyone, uh, any investigator on the campus, the UAMS, Arkansas Children's Hospital and VA campuses. So uh, there are no priorities for any uh, one group of people. It's uh, equally available to everybody. And the last thing I'd like to mention is that so far, and with all the constructs we've had over the last uh, six or seven years, we're batting a thousand. So if you give us a DNA construct, we'll give you a mouse. <laughs>